This pressure game. Hey, hey, bitch, it's the game. Insane, insane. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's Trey DB. And as y'all can see, it is the offseason. We're not going to waste no time. It's going to be a quick video. We're just checking out some of the stats for the players that's leaving. Elias Duke, he took over senior. Um, he took over the running back position halfway of the season and went off, man. He got 700 yards within a matter of five, six games. So he did good. John Houston also was leaving. Our best linebacker on the team last year, he had 19 tackles. Well, how many for loss? Oh, he had 19 for loss, which is a lot. That's great. 57 tackles last year. Cool. Larry Pearson, man. Y'all got to check out some of these older videos because Pearson put the team on his back. I'm not going to say too much. If y'all don't know, man, go check out the last couple of videos. They were some great videos. But sadly, we lose in our 6'5 receiver. Got 1,300 yards in total. 800 this year. Jonathan Henderson, a leader on the team, a tight end, a senior. He had 800 yards this year. He did good. Eight touchdowns, 12,000, I mean, 1,200 overall. We got Roy Bricks. We moved him to cornerback, and he ended up playing good, shutting stuff down. So let's check out some of these transfer requests real quick. And we got a right outside linebacker and a defensive tackle. Okay, we're going to roll with that. We're going to let him come in. Hey, you guys, if you're not on the team or if your, your player graduated, hit me up in the comment section below. We added new players to the team. And check out some of the roster real quick. So we got some athletes and we're going to put one of the athletes at quarterback so the quarterback room is going to be up there bro it's going to be up there so we're going to put this guy at quarterback right here he got 92 speed and we got this other guy when i believe i'm put him at receiver they all are fed so like i said let me know in the conversation what position y'all want to be we got a couple of quarterbacks but we don't know who's going to start, bro. It's going to be a challenge, and we got a plan to see who's going to start. So let me know below. We're going to put this other guy at cornerback. Need a little help over there, just a little bit more speed. He got 93 speed. Let's check out his coverage, though. Let's see how that's looking. 79, 79. I like it. Okay. Okay, I like it. Definitely putting him at corner. All right, y'all. So... This series is going to keep rolling. We're trying to get better. We want to get real good to the point we could probably lead a sweat. But here's a look at some of the um, the team, y'all. The running back room is looking good. The squad is looking good. I'm kind of worried about defense. I'm kind of worried about the linebackers, bro. But here goes some of the training results real quick. Neighbors, a transfer is the highest overall on our team right here. Let's go. I like that. Then we got McLeod, who was a transfer, and Savage Jr. is returning off, off. He's a sophomore now, and Bowie is returning, but Bowie's not going to probably even get in this year, bro. He had his chance. He's not. Demi, he's back. Got hurt last year. Bush actually stepped up when Demi got hurt as a backup, but he wasn't step up as a starter, but he did good behind the lies. And check out some of our other receivers. We got Kane, Price, Washington, McCutcheon. McCutcheon was our leading receiver last year, and he's nowhere at the top in terms of overall. 67 catching, and he was our leading receiver. So we got a guy with 80. So it's good. The team is definitely getting better, y'all. It's definitely getting better. Got our fullbacks. Okay, yeah, I like in the line. They're they getting a little better. We got to get them. We got to get some better people. So... The defense, I'm just kind of scared this year. The defense is not looking better. We lost a lot of players, and a lot of our best players, we lost them. But on the back end, the DBs are good. The linebackers, the D-line, I'm kind of worried, y'all. We're going to have to work with them. But our cornerbacks and safeties are loving them. We got some speed up there. We got one guy that's 86. He's not going to be starting for sure. Safeties is good. Clayton and Fitch back. Let's go. So they, this is cut, the cutting stage. I'm still gonna cut people, even though we don't need to cut anybody. Just miscellaneous people, we're definitely gonna cut. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Got a new series coming to, coming soon, a new video coming soon. So stay tuned this weekend, and then as soon as I drop that video, we're gonna continue this Mississippi Valley. So I want this video to stay here for about like a week, 
or not close to a week that way we can get more subscribers within the dynasty so like i said comment below who y'all want to be and what position and hopefully it's open if not i'll let y'all know all right so we headed to the schedule we did the schedule y'all mississippi state coastal carolina miami north dakota yeah like let's go over this again let's go over this mississippi state and we got going to coastal carolina and we playing miami ohio three away games so that's our three away games and we're going to hit conference against north dakota state a rematch for the fcs championship and then we got pine bluff looking to beat them this year we haven't been able to beat pine bluff yet Southern Illinois going back to Chicago to play them in the Chicago Football Classic. We got a rival, Jackson State, and Grambling. Hopefully, we can beat them. Going against Prairie Review A&M this year. Let's go. And we're going to play them in Texas. And we're going against Southern, Alabama A&M, and Alcorn State. So, that's what it is, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. It's Trey DB. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. And I'm out.